Hey guys, just wanted to show you how to do King Bangalash. Probably not too many people are going to watch this fight because it's actually pretty easy. You want to, uh, in my opinion, you actually do take the bridge. It's uh, not necessary, but there's a chest up there and there is gold up there. So if you don't get it, you just might get you might get um, a little bit low on uh, a little bit behind on the gold taken. So I like to go on the bridge sometimes, not all the time, but. The general idea here is uh, air to ground and just a decent amount of beef because that uh, Shredder that's coming up, he's got an AE ground attack but he's weak to air of course so he's going to wipe out that whole bunch of footmen there. He'll do a little bit of damage but yeah it's really not that difficult to fight. This is a orange quest for me right now and um, I actually don't know what his heroic mechanic is compared to um, his normal mechanic, but uh, if you guys know, let me know. I think it might just be he's surrounded by those Murlocs, but I don't know. I think there's more than that, but I have not noticed anything different at all here. I did it very easily on four of the classes, and this was the most difficult one, And um, being it was still orange and I'm kind of low on beasts. But yeah, just really shoving footmen up, throwing a uh, bat rider behind it, trying to deny him gold and me take gold. So use those switches to get over there when you need. I think that running a dark iron miner would actually be a pretty smart thing to do here as well, but uh, I did not do that. Just pushing ahead, pushing ahead. Pyromancer's just always good. Um, well, not always, but almost always, and I'm just trying to put the put the damage on him as I'm out outpacing him in gold, and easy as that, really easy fight. So no one's watching this because you already beat it, but that's cool. <laughs>